Well, brick and mortar bookstores, especially independent ones, took a painful hit when digital sites like Amazon came online. But bookstores are going through a resurgence. And that's partly due to the internet, which ironically almost did in the first place. Mei Li has the story. Rows and rows of shelves are stocked with every kind of book imaginable here at Romans, Southern California's oldest independent bookstore. How old? 122 years, which means it survived world wars, depressions, recessions, and most recently, the digital age. But how? People still want to come into a store. They want to pick up the book and look at it. They want to talk to somebody in the store who's maybe read it. And I think that's what people don't get from ordering online. You just don't have a personal connection. After years of economic challenges due to the rise of online sites like Amazon, independent bookstores are making a comeback. Their numbers rose 21 percent from 2010 to 2015. It seems customers are willing to pay up to 30 percent more in exchange for the physical experience of browsing, as well as other in-store enticements like events and gift shops. Sometimes you pay more to eat in a nice restaurant than you would to pick up food from it. Uh, it's because there are other dimensions to the experience than just the, the thing itself. One of the most unique independent bookstores, which also happens to be one of the world's largest, is right here in downtown Los Angeles in this amazing old bank building. This is the last bookstore. The name is ironic since the business has not only survived, but it continues to thrive year after year. What started in a downtown loft in 2005 has grown into a massive 2,000 square meter space with more than 150,000 new and used books, as well as music and art. The internet, once the mortal enemy of bookstores, is now playing a large role in boosting business for the last bookstore. Social media has been a big part of our success, of our growth, of drawing in people who uh, are coming from out of town. I meet tourists who have come from all over the world. They do so because of the store's unusual attributes worthy of sharing on social. This cutout that frames people really nicely. So I see a lot of Facebook profile pictures oh, where know. they're framed so they're in this. Doing this like, hi. <laughs> this is our famous book tunnel. People come in all the time asking where to find this. Our store has a couple bank vaults uh, from when this was a bank, so you can see the wow. original door is still there. And also still here is the last bookstore, which is doing its best to defy its namesake for as long as it can. It feels very optimistic to us uh, that that people are shopping at us still, that new people are coming to us, that sales are increasing and not just holding steady. All of that feels very positive. May Lee, Los Angeles.